information about nucleic acids for you. Uh, these are really, really important compounds, so it's really important that we understand how they work because what they're going to do is they're basically going to give us the blueprint for DNA and RNA. Um, so essentially, they're going to include three main groups. You're going to have a phosphate group. Uh, you're going to have a sugar, which we call a sugar backbone. And then you're going to have a base. And the bases are those uh, four what we call nitrogenous bases. And those would in – oh, there we go. Those would include things like uh, A, T, C, G, or U for uh, RNA. So for DNA bases, we have adenine, which is A, guanine, which is G, cytosine, which is C, and thymine, which is T. And, of course, we remember from uh, biology class that A and T pair up together and C and G pair up together. So you've got A, T, which links, and C, G, which links via hydrogen bonding. So – uh, oh, there it is, hydrogen bonding right there. So what it's going to do is it's going to form this double helix, okay? Here's your phosphate group and your sugar backbone right here, and then you've got your A and T matching together. Here's another A, T. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but it looks like this one's G, C matching up together. Uh, it's going to continuously do that all down the double helix. You're going to have A's and T's, C's and G's, and those are going to meet together via hydrogen bonding and that's a very very strong bond it's very difficult to unwrap dna because hydrogen bonding is so 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 strong um the only way or rna is different in a couple of ways from dna uh first off dna stands for deoxyribose nucleic acid and rna is just ribonucleic acid so the sugar is different where in uh, dna you have a deoxyribose sugar ring in RNA, you only have a ribose sugar ring. So that's that's the first difference. Also, instead of uh, thymine, we actually use uracil as the fourth base. Okay, G and C is still going to link together. But instead of adenine and thymine linking together, you're going to have adenine and uracil linking together. An extremely important compound. This is big for the human body. We have to have ATP. Okay, I mean, it is a must. We must, must, must have ATP. Uh, it says energy is released by breaking high-energy phosphate bonds. So here is our base, our adenine base. Once again, we've got a ribose sugar backbone. But here we've got three phosphate groups. So there's a lot of energy that's stored in this bond. So check it out. What I can do is I can actually break this bond right here. I can break that bond and release a phosphate group, and when I do, I'm going to release a ton of energy. So remember, this is adenine triphosphate to make ATP. Triphosphate means there's three. Well, if I lose a phosphate group, now I have ADP, which is adenine diphosphate. Okay, so here's that, here's that uh, ATP. A sugar is going to break off here. Okay, a sugar is going to maybe break off here. There we go. Okay, how about a different color? That's fine. Sugar is going to break, or a, not even a sugar, a phosphate group is going to break off here. And when it does, it's going to release a lot of energy. Okay, uh, so now I've got this phosphate group hanging out. I've got a new compound, which is ADP, but I've got a lot of energy. Awesome ATP. 